Yeah, I think we focus on patients with behavior change, but the reality is that all humans, um, you know, behavior change is complex. And so even as clinicians, we get set in our own ways and we do things our own ways. We uh, are sometimes a little bit resistant or we can, we can be resistant. All of us can be resistant to hearing something different and being open to considering it, you know, um, I think that's a defense mechanism. You, you can certainly see that with controversial topics like politics or religion. Someone says something, you get defensive right away because that's, wait, that's not how I see things. Um, and it's a defense mechanism because if we just changed our mind about things all the time, we, um, you know, we, it, it would be hard for us to, uh, you know, we kind of, we, we have a belief about something and it's become a belief over time. And now, and we have rationale to support that belief. We can have our minds change, but it usually is a process. So I would say a couple of things. First of all, you are, when you change someone's mind about something or when your mind changes, it's usually not, I'll tell you one thing and then boom, you change your mind because your, your brain doesn't work that way. Usually it's an iterative process of you trust me, We've built a good rapport. I say a few things to you. We have some conversations. We, you know, slowly you start considering little pieces of it. And then that paradigm that you've built shifts. And eventually, if you do change your mind, it's usually an iterative process. So the first thing I would say is we have to be consistent with our message and don't give up. You know, you never know what your patient hears at one time. Every time they come in, continue that message. Keep trying to provide, you know, good, um, solid rationale, but also build a rapport so that they can trust you and they are open to changing their minds about something, you know.